In our latest installment of the On Shape videos, we're going to take a look at the interface and also how to draw some basic shapes and how to interact with On Shape. So when you first come to Onshape, you'll be to a screen similar to this. You're going to see uh, recent things you pulled up, your folders down at the bottom, just some different things. What we're going to do today is just create a document. So we'll go up to Create. And notice all the other things you can create. You can create documents, folders. Uh, you can import things. Pretty good options. In Onshape, everything's called a document, or at least that's how it starts. So we'll create a document. I can choose folders if I want to, and that's highly desirable. And we'll say create. So in here, we're in the typical Onshape user interface. Over here on the right, this is kind of the graphics area. So this is, you know, everything's going to take place in there. So you're going to look at the part studio, the assembly, or any other kinds of things like the drawing you might be in. Over on the left, this is kind of the features area. For those of you coming out of the Fusion environment, this is the browser area. And at the bottom, you see different tabs. It's called the tab manager. So you could see all the different parts you make. If you do bottom up approach, you can also go to the assembly and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now, the toolbar we're looking at is actually the features toolbar up here. We're going to go ahead and click sketch. And I'm going to choose the plane I want to draw on. Typically, the front is where we start to get that to where it's squared up a little bit. Because see, right now, I've selected the plane, and I could go ahead and draw on the front view. But I like things to be squared like this. So in order to do that, I just press the N key for normal. And you notice over here, I also have a view cube. So I could have I could have said, well, just give me that front view and kind of square it up. I could do that as well. It just depends on how you want to do it. For me, I found it quicker just to press the N key. I'll start with a circle. I'm going to come right over here to the origin, and I'm just going to draw a circle. At the end of drawing something, so as soon as I let go, it gives me the option. Do I want to dimension it? I guess for right now, I'm just going to leave that alone. Typically, our next step is to go in and extrude the thing, right? But let's take a look real quick. This is actually our sketch toolbar right now. You can see in here, we're having options to draw two-dimensional objects. So I'm done with the sketch for now. I can hit the green check mark up here. And I'm going to click extrude right here. It shows up because notice this. As soon as we clicked finish sketch, it went into that features environment. So the features toolbar is up. Here's extrude. And I'll just click the shape. And I decide, all right, well, how, how thick do I want this to be? The one inch is fine for now. And I'll check mark. Now, on shapes is a little different, and a lot of people actually prefer it. You can use your right mouse button. You can hold your right mouse button down, and that will allow you to rotate. So it's a little bit different than, than what some of us are used to. Also, of course, there's the view cube up there, so don't be afraid to use that. All right, so I think what I'll do next, I'll go ahead and kind of hit the front view here. I think I'll go back into sketch. I'm going to pick the front view again. And to pan, so to move the objects around like this, to do that in on shape, I can click and hold the wheel on my mouse, and that will allow me to maneuver that around. That's the easiest way to handle it. I think I'll just take the rectangle tool up here. Now notice if I click the down arrows, I get other options. So corner rectangle is what we're used to. Look at that. There's a shortcut for it, G. And a center rectangle, which is something that we also use quite a bit. Shortcut for that is R. I'm just going to take the corner rectangle and come over here and draw a rectangle. Now for this one, I think I will use some dimensions. So notice it says 2.817 up here. I'm just going to make that a 3. And now here's a difference. I'll press Enter, and it takes me to the other side. And now it says 1.73. I'll make that a 2 and press Enter. So now it's actually dimensioned. I can click the check mark, and that'll take me back into extrude right here. So there's extrude. Click that shape again. Decide what depth. Let's make this one like 0.5. And choose that check mark. So now I can rotate things. You see, I've got a couple different shapes. Let's do one more. Let's use that front view. And I'm going to use my center wheel and hold it down. I'm just going to kind of pan it over. I'll go back into sketch mode 
and pick that front view again. This time I'll take the line tool. Let's look at what options we have though. Click that down arrow, there's a midpoint line and a line. Notice the L for shortcut. I'm just gonna draw just kind of an odd shape here and make sure to close it off. Once it turned gray. Now, instead of just hitting the uh, green check mark, I'm gonna press Shift and E this time, and that takes me straight into Extrude. So Shift and E will take me into Extrude, which is a common thing that we use. You're gonna find on shape use, makes use of the Shift key quite a bit. Hit the check mark, now I have that shape as well. Let's do one more sketch here. Now, I'm gonna click Sketch, and I'm gonna click Front, and notice I'm, I'm in sketch mode. The environment at the top changed. Now, just a quick reminder, I wanna press that N key, and that'll normalize it. It'll take it back to where it's uh, straight on for us. Remember, I can also use that view cube over here, right? Okay, let's do a revolution. So I'm gonna take a line. I'm just gonna draw out here. I'm gonna draw straight up and down line. I'm gonna come over here. Come up this way a little bit. And I think what I'll do now is I'm gonna use the arc tool. So here's three point arc. So we'll use that down arrow again. There's tangent arc, center point arc, elliptical and conic arc. So I've used three point arc quite a bit. Notice there's an A there. And center point arc quite a bit. For now, I'll just use three point arc. One point, the second point's how long it is. And then the third point's really the radius. So let's do one more of those. I'm gonna come up here and kind of grab that dot. Kind of like using extents, right? Third point is the bend. And then I'll take a line and I'll just close it off. Now remember, just like other programs we use, there are geometric constraints up here. Here's a tangent constraint. Let's say this line and this line. I want them to be tangent. And same thing down here. Now I'll go ahead and click the green check mark and I will use the revolve command up here. So let's look and see what else we have. There's extrude, there's revolve, which is where we wanna go. Then here's sweep, and we have loft. We also have thicken. There are other commands as too, but then it just keeps going. So I'm gonna use revolve, and all I really need to do, I'm gonna click the revolve, fill out the face, so that, and then revolve axis, I'll click in. So click the face you want to do, and then click the axis you want to do. Now you can also say instead of full, let's do uh, let's do symmetrical, or let's just do one direction. So you don't have to do a full revolution. And we'll go ahead and click that check mark. Now another common thing we would do from here is we would use a shell. So let's look and see where shell is. Right over here is our shell button. So we'll click that and then we'll click this base and we'll decide. All right, so point one comes up by default and we'll just click the green check mark. So these are some of the very basic things in Onshape. Before we end the video, let's take a look at the keyboard shortcuts. And you can do that by going up here to the help command, the help menu rather. You can click on that down arrow and here are the keyboard shortcuts. These are things that are kind of handy to use. So the down arrow and then keyboard shortcuts. And you'll see all kinds of stuff in here that, that are really helpful.